Hi, Sofía. Good morning, teacher. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm tired. You're tired, Sofia. Oh no, <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to wake up, right? All yes. right, yeah, I know, I know. But only like a couple of more days and maybe you're gonna be able to sleep in a little bit, okay? Yes. Very good. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Joanna. All right, very good. I think she's busy right now. All right, so Sophia, how was your day yesterday? Everything okay? Yes, everything okay. I was very busy. Yeah? At the work, yes. Yeah, I imagine. Yes. Okay, very good. Hi, Exa. Good morning. Hi, uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? How are you so far? <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm fine. Excellent, very good. And then we also have Franklin. Hi, Franklin. Fine, how are you? Very nice. Excellent, that's nice to hear. Very good. Well, it's nice outside right now. It's kind of like already clear. It seems like it's not going to rain anymore, but we never know. All right, very good guys. So yesterday, remember that we began talking about the if um, clauses or the unreal conditional. All right, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Okay, so let me just get it out for you here. Just give me one second. All right, guys, how are you working on the platform? Are you doing okay with the platform? I have a couple of you, not you, None of you here, I believe, but I do have a couple of people that are very, very behind on the platform. All right. Exa, do you remember where you are? You're not behind, but do you remember where you are, Exa? It's on 5.4. All right. Yeah, you're way ahead. That's very nice. Thank you. What about Franklin? Franklin, how are you doing with the platform? Do you remember which exercise we're working on? No? All right, let's see. Sophia, what about in your case? Do you remember? Yes, I think I, I am in this section three. All right, okay. All right, so try to speed up a little bit, right? But you're, I mean, you're okay. I'm just worried. Uh, for those students or those participants that haven't done anything on the platform, and we are finishing, all right? So, um, but none of, like the ones that are here in class right now, it's not your cases, but yeah, that's happening too. So we need to worry about that, all right? Remember that Monday is gonna be our last um, class. So by Monday, everything has to be finished, okay? Let me just get this whole, uh, whole thing for you here. All right, so remember yesterday how we were talking about if you found money, what would you do? Remember that that's what we were talking about yesterday. Hi, Ileana, good morning. Good morning, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent, very nice. All right, Ili, what about you? Do you remember how you are on the platform? Uh, sorry, teacher. Remember, how are you on the platform? Like, are you okay with the exercises? Do you remember which um, uh, section you have finished? Yes, I finished the, the section four. Okay, perfect, yeah. All right, so it's just a couple of you, as I said, that are like really, really behind, but most of you are doing nice, all right? You're doing okay. All right, guys, so yesterday uh, we, were, we began talking about unreal conditionals or unreal situations. Um, for the examples that we talked about, about the conversation, about what would you do if you found money? 
you realize that this is not happening, all right? You're not probably, most likely, you're not gonna go out of the street today and you're not gonna find a bag full of money. We are hypothetically speaking here, all right? It's not something that's gonna happen. That is why it's called unreal conditional, all right? So if you remember here with the, um, let me just get it here for you with the uh, conversation that we saw yesterday. All right, the guy was saying, well, I would return it. Just let me get it here. All right, so here is what we have. I wanted to show you this here so we can like go back to the conversation. All right, now here, just with the title, you understand that this is an if clause because we're using if I found $750,000 which is not happening, all right? Now, if you notice here, um, can you find any other if or any other um, sentence that these guys are referring to something that is not happening? Can you just take quickly, uh, take a look quickly at the uh, conversation and see what's, um, and see if you can find anything else there or any other um, structure that is a little bit off place that you say, mm, maybe this one is part of the unreal conditional. Maybe when Pat said I wouldn't return it so fast, this is unreal. All right, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't return it so fast. Very good. Yeah, it isn't real. All right. I wouldn't return it so fast. Very good. Any other? I could buy, I could buy a lot of nice ah, clothes. Excellent. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Very good. All right. So if you notice, we are using would and could also all right so in this case how to make a real conditional sentence it takes two parts it has you have two clauses the if clause and the main clause all right like the the the, the if part of the sentence and the main part of your sentence and then you combine them and then you have an unreal conditional so if you notice at the beginning of your sentence or in the if clause, you're going to have if plus subject plus simple past. If I found, if I had, if I went, if I, I don't know, if I bought, all right? Whatever the verb is, you need, it, you need to use it in the simple past. If, in this case, if I found money, I would return it. If I found money, I could buy new clothes, all right? So, in other words, here we're allowed to use would, could also, all right? And we're going to see, like, the whole structure in a minute, okay? So, I just want to, um, I want to take you to the next video here which it's this one just give me a second here i'm just gonna stop sharing we're gonna see it on the video and then we're gonna see the other uh, powerpoint uh presentation okay just give me one second all right it's here hold on guys just give me a second <laughs> All right, so here we have, we're not gonna play the audio, I just want you to see this right now, okay? So this is like the part of the book that we're using here, Unreal Conditional Sentences with If Clauses. Why do we say If Clauses? Because we can use some other type of clauses, like unless, uh, when, all right? But they are still like conditionals, all right? In this case, we're using If, okay? So unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations, things that are not happening. They're happening in like our dreams, 
on our desires, all right? I wish, you know, if I had money, I would buy a new car, but I don't have the money right now. I only wish I could, all right? With simple past uh, forms and consequences in the present. So this is very important for you to understand, all right? Now, your situation, your imaginary situation, we're gonna use it, simple past forms, but the consequences in the present. I will, I mean, if I had money, I would buy a car right now. The consequences in this moment, although I'm using the past tense of the verb had, but my result is in this moment. I wish I could have it right now. If I studied, I would pass this course, for example. I want to pass this course right now. All right, so the consequence is in the present. It is not in the past, okay? They are not regrets, okay? They are unreal sentences, imaginary sentences, like dream sentences that we can think of, all right? So here, if you notice here, the question is what would you do if you found $750,000? You use would, all right, within the question, but you also use if, and you also use simple past tense of your verb and the sentence. So what would you do if you had, um, I don't know, if you had what? If you had a, a swimming pool in your house, all right? Not a big villa, a swimming pool, all right? So what would you do then, right? Would you have parties every weekend? Would you have like a competition going on? So these are things that are just in our imagination, all right? now. The first part of the sentence, and this is how we divide it, is the if clause. If I found $750,000, comma, I would or I'd go straight to the mall. So we may use would here, all right? If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. There is a possibility that I would do that, right? I might go to the police, maybe yes, maybe no, I might go, all right? And then if I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. So if you notice, we can use would in affirmative or wouldn't, depending on what you want to say. Now, what is gonna depend, which one you use, is probably more like the, the what you would actually do with it, all right? What would you do if? All right, now if you notice the question usually is going to be with what would you do if, not what could you do if, not might you do with, no, it's would. That's how you make the question. But on your answer, you can change it to would, could, might, or wouldn't, all right, depending on how possibly that's gonna happen, all right? I could, I might, I would, all right? So you can, it depends on the possibility of the consequence, all right? Now, I just wanna see you, I wanna show you here this. We're not gonna listen to the whole thing. Ooh, wow. all right. I know you cannot listen right now, just give me a second. All right, I just wanna, I just want you guys to hear this. Just give me one second. <laughs> the alarm went off. It's not my alarm. I went off, my alarm went off at 5.30. <laughs> All right, sorry guys, let's see. Um, let's see here. I just wanna share this with you and then we're gonna talk about Our it. Situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's. All right, so here, as what it's being said here, we have two clauses, and I want you to picture this in your head, okay? We have the if clause and we have the main clause. This is how we divide them, all right? So on the if clause, of course, you need to begin with if, all right? And then the past simple of the verb, plus would, subject, plus would could or might plus the verb, all right? It is important to take into account that in conditionals, 
it is you and this is very very important for you guys to understand this okay for the first time ever we are going to switch the rules here usually we say i was he was they i mean they were we were you were it was but because this is an unreal situation we are going to switch it we are going to use were for i for he and for she if i were he if he were friendly if i were rich all right so you have to pay attention to that now they are accepting was as it is but usually and most of the time we are going to use were or i or he or she and for it only in unreal conditional sentences all right you cannot say a normal sentence like i was your teacher i cannot say i were your teacher all right that is grammatically incorrect but in this case for these type of questions or sentences yes we are allowed to use were for everybody all right um if he were rich if she were my sister if i were your i don't know your um wife all right so whatever the sentence is going to be for he for she for it and for i you're supposed to use were only an again like when we're talking about unreal um sentences or conditions here all right let's to uh, work so first on the if clause here right here this one is formed with if plus a past simple verb let's move on to the main clause in this part we may use would could or might plus verb in simple present we want you you see like on the second part or the main clause of your um sentence you need to use the verb in simple present all right something that is very important for you to also notice is punctuation the use of a comma is mandatory. It's an obligation. You have to use it. You have got to use it, all right? The use of a comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. If I were in France, comma, I would visit the Eiffel Tower, all right? Eiffel Tower. When the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we don't use the comma. So we can actually make the change and it's okay. You can say, if I were in France, I would, or you say, I would visit if I were in France. Can we do this? Yes, when, whenever you want to, as long as you do it properly, all right? Especially in writing, if you're writing it, make sure that if you're going to begin your sentence with the main clause, you don't need a comma. The if is like the comma, all right? But if you begin your sentence with the if clause, then yes, you begin a comma. Where do you have to put it? In between those two sentences. How do you know which one is, like what is the between on that sentence is right before the, the second subject. All right, that's gonna be, all right? So I'm gonna stop sharing this because that's what I wanted to show you here. Do you have any questions so far about the unreal conditionals? Any, any questions so far? No, we're okay? Uh, what happened with the question? What What about the question uh, exam? Uh, what is the structure? The structure usually is going to be the same. For example, what, where, whatever the WH question, uh, word that you're going to be using, what would is would. All right, you usually use would, not could, not might. We usually ask would. What would you do if, and then the rest of it. So it's always like that. So you're going to use would on like in your question. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. I'm going to show you this one here, the PowerPoint, which I'm going to send after class, and real conditional sentences with if clauses. And look at the guy. It says, if I had money, all right, but he doesn't have money. All right, what is he thinking about? What would he do if he had money? What, what is he thinking about? What is, the, what is the bubble saying? If I had money, what? maybe she buy a car he would buy a car he would buy a car or he could buy a car all right very good thank you all right so intro uh, introduction here let's see uh someone to read this for me me teacher okay introduction 
<clears throat> the present unreal conditional is used to refer to unreal, imaginary, or impossible conditions and their results. Thank you, all right? So it's not only unreal, it's not only imaginary, it's almost impossible, all right? So that's what I say, it's like things that we dream of, we daydream of, all right? Second conditional, this is also important for you to know. Unreal conditional is the same as the second conditional, all right? In English, we have four conditionals. We have the zero conditional, the first conditional, the second conditional, and the third conditional, all right? When you see or when you hear unreal conditional is the same as the second conditional, all right? Yes, the zero conditional is always true, and you use present, present. If I, have my, if I am tired, I sleep, all right? That's the zero conditional. The first conditional, I will, and then you use it in the future, all right? The second conditional, which is this one, all right, is past, and then the use of would, all right? So this is like what we have here. So unreal conditional is the same as saying second conditional, all right? If someone says to you, have you ever studied second conditional? Say yes, it's the unreal conditional, it's the same one, all right? Very good. So it says here, someone to read this one for me. Maybe Eliana, do you want to read this one for me, Eli? Yes. Second conditional. We use the second conditional to talk about a hypothetical or imaginary situation in the present or in the future and its consequence. Compare. If I have time, I'll help you. If I have time, I'd, I'd help you. The second example shows an imaginary situation. I don't and I won't have time. Very good, thank you. All right, so here, we use the second conditional to talk about hypothetical situations or imaginary situations in the present or in the future if it's the consequence, all right? Now here we have two sentences. The first one is, if I have time, I will help you. I'm telling you that I will help you, all right? But if I said, if I had time, which I don't have time, all right? How do I know that I don't have time? Because of this. If I had time, this one here gives me the imaginary situation, the if part. If I had time, but I don't have time and I will not have time, all right? So that's why it's impossible. That's why it's imaginary. That's why it's unreal, all right? So if I had time, but I don't have time, I would help you, all right? Okay, so here, that's why it says, and Liliana read it, it says, I don't, and I will not have time, so I will not help you, I can't, all right? So that is the, like the, the difference between the second sentence with the first one, right? If I had time, meaning I don't have it, all right? Let's go on with the other one here. Someone to read this one for, oops, someone to read this one for me? Anybody? Just one. Second conditional. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, Franklin. Thank, Thank you, you, Franklin. Thank, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Second conditional sentence. Sentence are formal. Form. Excellent. As nice. Follow. Excellent, Franklin. Very good. Uh huh. Uh, pass sign, sign, pass simple. simple? Uh, yeah. If um, next a wall could or cool yes uh, and if in infinitive that means infinitive all right that means that the thank you frankly that means that the following verb is going to be in a, a, a present all right so if i had whatever all right i would i could i might play go buy visit marry whatever all right so here this one it's supposed to be in the present simple or infinitive, if you want to call it that way, all right? Now, here we have an example. Uh, Exa, can you read this one, please? Unreal conditional. If plus ver bus, comma, mm -hmm. auxiliary plus ver infinitive. Thank you. Example, if I have time, I will help you. If I live in palace, 
I will give parties all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mary will move to Japan if she is talking Japanese. All right, very good. Mary would move to Japan if she spoke Japanese. So if you notice here, if I had time, if I lived, she spoke. All right, so we're talking about the uh, simple past tense here. And then the rest of it is in present or infinitive. I would help. All right, you don't need the to. You don't say I would to help. You say I would help. I would give. I would buy. I would sing. I would dance. So whatever the result is. Second conditional things to consider. All right. Uh, with the verb to be, you can say, if I were the president, I would reduce the taxes. Or you can say, if I was the president, I'd reduce the taxes. But as the first option, guys, is were. All right? This has been forever like that. Now, because people, like, sometimes they kind of, like, get confused. All right? You're, like, saying, wait a minute. But you have always told me that with I, he, and she, we have to use was. Yes, but no with unreal condition. So it has always been were. All right, now they are accepting this one. But your first choice is this one. All right? Why? It's because they made it that way. There is no other explanation. You don't say, if, I mean, before it was only this one acceptable. Were. If I were. If he were. All right, so that's how it was before. Now you can have this option too. The one that we know, the one that we know is correct, okay? But this one for second conditionals or unreal conditionals, all right, is suppo you're supposed to use where. Now, this may happen with I, he, she, and it, with the singular forms, okay? Any questions with that so far? No questions with that? Excellent. Teacher, yes. sorry. Yes. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Yeah. The I apostrophe D is good. Yes. Would, yes, oh, would. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I would, yes. Very good. Any other question? Um, Araceli, I don't know if you had a question. Yes, I I confuse, I don't understand this. Uh, you don't understand this here, what you're this. seeing right now, or the whole topic? Uh, <clears throat> now with this, uh, I confuse the use where and was. Okay, yeah, all right. Very good, Araceli. Okay, the rule says, Araceli, that when we talk about I, he, and she, I mean, I, he, she, it, those four, we are supposed to use were. All right? Okay. Always. But because sometimes it's very confusing for students. Now we are accepting was as it is, all right? But if you want to like speak it grammatically correct, you have to use were, always. Um, only, uh -huh. in the sec only when you're talking about a second conditional, not in normal sentences, right? In normal sentences, you say, I was your teacher. You don't say, I were your teacher, all right? Only uh -huh. if, like I said, if I were your teacher, I would um, speak English only, for example, all right? But I, I mean, but I'm not your teacher in that case, right? But the best way, Araceli, is to use were for second conditional or unreal conditional. It's the same one, okay? Okay. All right, so make okay. sure that, like, for example, the platform would accept this, all right? Because that's, like, traditionally how we have done it, all right? Like, for years and years and years, it's always been like this, all right? Very good. Did, 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 okay. is, is it okay now, Araceli? Yeah. Teachers. Yes. Okay. And the and in what happened with the pronouns uh, we and they? They stay the same word. So but, if 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 uh, we were they rich, all... yeah, for everybody. That's right. Yes, again. Yeah. For everybody would be were for the second conditional or unreal conditional for everybody's were. All right. If I were, if he were, if she were, if you were, if we were, if they were, for everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, someone else? Okay. Any other question? No, we're okay. Let's do, uh, we're going to no, be both talking again. You. Yeah, very good. Okay, so here you say, um, if I were you, all right, I would be more careful. If you notice, you're using where here. 
especially when you give an advice. If you say, mm, I don't know, uh, Sophie, when if I were you, I would tell your supervisor, all right? If I were you, I would, I don't know, study more. So you're giving an advice, all right? Always use where, all right? Like with I. If I were you, but I'm not you, all right? So I don't know what you would do with it. The main clause and the if clause can go in either order, all right? If I went to New York, comma, I would go to Broadway, or I would go to Broadway if I went to New York. Now, you can change the position, but you cannot change the structure, all right? So those, those are two different things. If I went, so it's if plus simple past, comma, subject plus would, could, or might, and then the, the base form of the verb, all right? If you make the switch, it's okay, but the structure remains the same, all right? If I'd go, this is like simple present or infinitive, all right? And then if plus past. Get, uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. In the, in the second example, uh, don't use the comma. No, because you're using uh, if. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you're using if, all right? So usually we don't, we're not gonna see the comma there. Mm -hmm. the, think about it as if replaces the comma. All right, so if you see the comma would be like, like too redundant, all right? So okay. in, in the second, if you have the main clause first, you don't need a comma here for the if clause. Right. Okay. But okay. when you have the if, yes, and then you have the comma right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, you may change the order, but you may not change the structure. Okay. El orden puede cambiar, la estructura no. Or it's the same thing. You have to follow the same pattern. Okay. Examples. All right. Let's see. Uh, someone to read the examples for me. Sophie, can you read the first example? Carlita Beatriz, can you read the second one? Araceli, read the okay. third one, and um, Giovanni, maybe you can read the last one. Okay, so it come conditionals. Examples, if I, have, if I have more money, I buy a bigger house. Thank you. Who's reading the second example? Um, if my team won the cup, I will buy champagne, champagne for everybody. <laughs> Excellent, Carlita. Very good. Nice. All right. Who's reading the third example? Me. Okay. If I was working in London, I take the tour every yeah. day. <laughs> the tube. It's like a, a train. Tube. All right. Yeah, the tube every day. Okay. And the last one. Thank you, Araceli. And the last one. If I spoke to him directly, I might to able to convince, convince him. Excellent, I might be able to convince him. Now, you're probably wondering, wait teacher, what happened here, all right? <laughs> so second conditional may be used with the, um, the past continuous, but it's not very often, all right? The one that we need to work more is the simple past, but it's good for you guys to know that it may be like this, but right now we're just concentrating on the simple past. If you notice, there are three examples using three uh, simple past verbs. If I had, if my team won, if I spoke. So here you can change it to if I worked in London. Change it to simple past so you don't get confused, all right? But sometimes we may use this one, but it's not very often um, used, all right? Let's see here. All right, guys, can you take, hold on, just give me a second here, yeah. Can you take a picture of this? Finished? Yes. All right, very good. So what I want you to do is I want you to complete these conversations, all right, and look at uh, where it is, all right, if you have to have a coma or not, all right, and then make sure that you fill in with the verbs that you have there. Now, that is going to be the first thing I want you to do. The second thing I want you to do with your partner, for example, if I'm working with Senia, 
uh, we're going to come up with sentences, all right? I want you to come up with, I don't know, four or five sentences using if, all right? The, using the unreal conditional. If you, um, what I want you to do is I want you to make, like if you're making five sentences or let's say you're making four, I want you to, you, I want you to do two sentences using if at the beginning and then the other two sentences using the main clause at the beginning. All right, so switch them. Different sentences. I don't want the same sentences, all right? Two sentences, very different, uh, using the if clause first, and then two other sentences using the main clause first, all right? But they are different, different sentences that you're coming up with, okay? Yes, got it? Yeah, everything okay? Yeah, all right, very good. Yeah, so, okay. first sentence. Yes, first sentence. yeah, four, come up with four sentences so you have an even number. Ely. Two with if at the beginning and two with uh, main clauses at the beginning, all right? Mm -hmm. okay. And then the exercise that you just took a picture of. Good morning, Blanquita. Very good. good. All right, how are you? All right, here. All right. So go to your groups and then I'm going to come up and check. Hi, Vanya. Hi, teacher. How are you? I just sent you to a group, Vanya. I don't know if you received the invitation to join the group. Yes. Okay. They're talking about the unreal conditionals, Vanya, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you.
I'm not sure. Hi, girls. But Hi. Hi. Uh, three times a week. Mm -hmm. Solo que la última no estoy segura. If your doctor told you to get more exercise, which is what would you choose? Excellent. Yes, very good, Sophia. Which is what would you choose? Nice. Mm. And the second, I'm not sure, but I will go jogging two or two, three times a week. I would go jogging, oh, that's fine. Two or three times a week, that's fine. Mm -mm. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes, very nice. All right. Now you need to make your sentences, right? Yes. All right, very good. If you need help, let me know. I'm going to go check another group, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hi Giovanni, you're speaking Spanish. <laughs> Peter, hello. Giovanni, what happened? I heard you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, do you need help, guys? Yes. Do you need help? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. What What do you need help with? Uh, the second exercise. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Sorry. That's okay, that's okay. On the first one, era donde tomamos la foto, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Ese era el tiempo? Sí. Eh, yes. Yo, uh, me uh, uh -huh. uh, All right. This moment, teacher. All right, thank you, Joe. I am here. <laughs> Hi, Carlita. Thank you, Carla. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, it's okay, Carlita. Don't worry about it. I, this is a, uh, I don't know, a costumbre. Uh, Traditional. It's a tradition. Yeah, that's okay. the one. Excellent. That one, that's the first one, right? So this one you have to just finish. If you had, that's right. If you had three months, whatever, right? To travel, I would fly to Europe. Uh, if your doctor told you you get more exercise, which is sport, would you choose? Very good. I'm not sure, but I might go jogging. All right, you can change. You can say I might go jogging. I would go jogging. I could go jogging. It's okay. Very good. Now, on the second exercise, what I want you to do is I want you to come up with your own sentences, like your own examples. All right. So, for example, you say um, Giovanni can say if I I don't know if I were the president, I would I don't know. Cancel everything. <laughs> All right. Or then Vanya can say, um, I would um, I would give money to my I don't know relatives if I won the lottery, for example. So what I want you to do is I want you to come up with four sentences. Two beginning with if. All right. And the other two beginning with. I would, or he would, or she could, or whatever. The main clause. You understand? Okay, the old conditional. Yes, yes the, yeah, the, this, with the second conditional, um, Giovanni, yeah. So here, okay. um, can you, um, can you move, it, move it up a little bit? Uh, do, 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 do. No, no, no. Go down. Go down then. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go the other way around. All right. Hold on. Teacher, yeah, so, yes. And we have there. to to do um, sentences like if I were like, if uh -huh. I were astronaut, uh -huh. um, uh, I would I would. Um, Put a take, take, a piece of, take a piece of the, of the, <laughs> the moon. moon. Yay, uh, very good. Yeah, like that. For example. Simple yes. examples. Simple okay. examples. Okay. Two of them beginning with if. 
y los otros dos de la envuelta, aunque sean diferentes. Bueno, uh -huh, deben ser diferentes. For the use for the comma, right? That's right, yes. Okay. Y también para que ustedes se den cuenta que puede hacerlo either or. Puede decir, if I were an astronaut, I would take a piece of the moon, or I would take a piece of the moon if I were an astronaut. And the meaning is the same. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Thanks. You are welcome. Yeah, could you could you write the sentence that that we have like a dead astronaut? It can be the word, the first. If you repeat, please. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. If I were an astronaut. It, I, if I were an an astronaut. I'm sorry. Uh, Giovanni, uh, the party and the S. Yes. No, the de la S. An astronaut. Yes. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay, Giovanni. It's very early in the morning. <laughs> then there you need a comma, right? If I were an astronaut, comma. What would you do? I go or I'll take a piece or. of moon. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I would take a piece. Very good. Peace. A piece. A piece. This four is okay, teacher. Yes, yes. I would. Oh, no. No, the four, no. No. I would take. No. Four, no. Uh -huh. I. Bimbo. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carlita, take a qué? A piece. 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 Very good. Ah. Nice and yeah, good. <laughs> uh, I had a, a pet, a, a little pet, and it's it's terrible. Ouch. Oh, no. <laughs> moon. Yeah. Moon. I would take a piece of the moon, yeah. Very good. Uh, of the moon. Mm -hmm. Os. Of the moon. Of the moon. Of. O-F-F. No, only one of. Uh, of well, depending, but yeah. Teacher. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Sinia. Hi, Gabby. Hi, teacher. How is everything? Everything okay? Um, I think so. Okay. okay. Teacher, I have a dove with the. Oh, what? With the. 
with this conversation. Okay. In a specific with the second. Okay. Uh, I am not sure, but sure. The, the letter B. Uh huh. In the first, uh, you use the if, right? Uh, if your doctor told you to get more exercise, which is for would you choose? That's right. Perfect. Yes. Okay. But in the answer, mm -hmm. is the, the answer, I think so. I use if in is only the, the second part, use or 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 both. You can just write it like how you have it. Like for example, say I'm not sure, but I would go jogging. That's okay. Okay. Or it, or how you did the second part. Also, you can complete it and say I'm not sure, but if I had my, if I had time, I would go jog. You make it more complete like ah, that. Gabby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But both choices uh, are okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, Nice sentence, if I was working in an airline. Yeah, very good. Remember that you may use the past continuous or just a simple past and it's okay. Ah, okay. Very good. Hello. O sea, que, perdón, teacher. Sí. Eh, I can use, uh, or oh, I can, if I work in airline. Yeah. In, uh, okay. If I worked in an airline, yeah. Uh, I could travel around the world. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, as he, if I. No, así sería. Ah, no, vea. If I work. work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is I work? Excellent. Así. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, en el segundo condicional o en el condicional irreal, podemos usar el pasado simple o el pasado continuo. Lo que pasa es que tendemos a usar más el pasado simple. Ah, okay. Pero los dos son válidos. All right. Es como el uso del where. Por años solo se mantuvo que solo íbamos, que se, se iba a usar Word para todos. Pero como los alumnos se confunden, porque de repente es como, bueno, pérese, pero toda la vida me ha dicho que lo conjugo con was, no con Word. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora, digamos que gramaticalmente se aceptan las dos. All right, pero la, digamos que la por tradición va a ser Word, if I were, aunque se escuche raro y uno diga, ay, pero es que no me lo han enseñado así. Pero que con el segundo condicional lo podemos hacer. Mm. Ok. Right. Son esas excepciones It's... de repente. Ajá, sí, es, es confuso por lo que usted dice. Sí, porque por años ustedes le han venido diciendo que was se confunde con I, he, she, it. Y de repente salgo yo y les digo, usted where, como que, ah. Ajá, cambiar el chip. Sí, ajá, cambiar el chip es bien difícil de repente. Así de segura, teacher, sí, segura. Y, y más que estamos aprendiendo y no. Sí, no, yo sé, yo sé. Entonces, por eso mismo. No, ahora es como que se aceptan dos, las dos, ¿verdad? Pero eh, digamos que la, la que ha sido por siempre es cambiarlo a where, solo en este caso. Ok. All right. Ok. Ay, vaya, Cynthia. It's your turn. <laughs> Bye. The next. Siempre comenzamos con if I was. No, 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 o si quiere lo cambia went if I went uh, if I went ahora hacer el pasado ajá if I went ajá uh -huh. I went I 
Ahí podemos poner. Voy a empezar a hacer. Ajá. Perdón. No sé si no, se puede, pero puede ser If I went to visit my grandfather, no sé, se podría. Uh -huh. If I went visit my grandfather. Okay. And the next sería. I would uh -huh. my grandfather. But what would I you would. do, Senia? What would you do? You would, I don't know, give him a present. You would, um, you would take him to, uh, I don't know, to a park. What would you do? I confused the Lo que puede hacer, Sinia, cuando está así como no, no sabemos qué hacer, es como pregúntese, ¿qué haría? Si fuera, si visitara a mi abuelo, all right, si yo visitara a mi abuelo, ¿qué haría? Ah, lo llevaría. Lo, el word nos da el IA para nosotros, lo llevaría a la playa. Le compraría ropa, le, le daría un regalo, lo llevaría oh, a buscar. Okay. Entonces, I would, I don't know, eh, take him to the beach, I would um, give him a cake, I don't know. Entonces, es, el would es, nos da el IA para nosotros. Right? Podría ser, eh, I would give a, give a gift. Yeah, very good, sí. Uh -huh. Give a gift. Yeah, give a gift. Yeah, very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, ah. Entonces ahora le damos vuelta. I Dale, le vuelta. will. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will. I will a uh, new a new job. Pero y el verbo, Gaby? Ah, uh, I will have. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a new job. Have a new job if, el, if. No lleva coma, Gaby. Ah, ah, es cierto. Lo que le pregunté. <laughs> I would have a new job if. Uh -huh. I uh, learned. Uh, learn English. <laughs> Yay, very good. Ahora, el learn tiene que ir en pasado, Gaby. Y sí, bien, ¿verdad? Learn. Learned. Learned. Yeah. Ya. Por eso recuerde que puede cambiar de posición, pero no la estructura. Okay. Y en este caso podría ser, ahí dice learn, podría ser, uh, if I was learned. No. If I was learning, no. sí. If I was okay. learning con ING, if I was learning English, I would have a new job, for example. Okay. All right? O solo if I learned English, I would have a new job. Mm -hmm. All right? Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. okay. Entonces, si es importante, Gaby, Sinia, es importante reconocer que le podemos dar vuelta a la oración, pero no le podemos cambiar la estructura, ¿verdad? La estructura siempre se mantiene okay. igual. Very good. Vamos a regresar por el okay. tiempo, all right? Y luego mañana vamos a revisar las oraciones, no las pierdan. Y vamos a hacer una práctica okay. oral mañana y otros ejercicios. Thank you, girls. Ok. okay Thank you, teacher. All right, guys. Um, I'm sorry I was like in the group with um, Gabby and I was also with Sini. I think I went with Sini. Yeah. All right. So um, tomorrow we're going to check your sentences. When we come in tomorrow, I'm going to have a set of questions for you, all right? So we can also practice the speaking part with what would you do if, okay? And then tomorrow we check what you guys did today because of time. I will take attendance right now. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Okay. Eh, Osmani eh, Exaú de León. Present. Very good. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez. 
Yeah, very good, Alita. Thank you. Uh, Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Very good. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Dalila Estela Silva Moran. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Cine Elizabeth Mejia. I am here, teacher. Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. Juan Carlos eh, Molina. Claudia Yana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucia Rosales. Karen Lisset Reyes. All right. And Francisco Isaac eh, Cabrera. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so have a great day. And if you need help, please work on the platform, guys. Okay, if you need help, let me know. And thank you, X. I'm going to fix that, okay? Yeah, very good. Thank you, guys. I'll see you thank tomorrow. You, thank you. Bye bye. bye. Have a great day. Bye. bye.